Alright, so I'm just going to try to solve this math problem for us, just to clear up any misconceptions or, or difficulties that we're having doing these projectile problems. So I've set up this question, it says if a water balloon was thrown from a cliff that is 122.625 meters tall, it lands 55 meters away. How fast was the water balloon thrown? Then I've put my equations up here to the right. I've got delta x is equal to v sub x times time, and delta y is equal to g times time squared all divided by 2. Then I've already set up our um, variable list just to save us a little bit of time later. But the first step to any of these questions will be to draw a picture. So here is my cliff. I know that it is 122.625 meter tall, and here's my little person Ugh. throwing a water balloon, and that water balloon goes 55 meters away. Okay, then I'll come over here to my variable list, and I'll put that information where it belongs in there. So I know that 55 meters is in the x direction, I know that it's a change in distance, so it belongs here in delta x, 55 meters. And I know that the height of my cliff is my delta y, so I'm going to put that information here, 122.625, I believe. Let me check. Let me just double check. 122.625. Okay. All right. Um, I also know gravity, so I'm going to put that in there as 9.81 meters per second squared. And this is meters, and that is meters. Okay, I think that that is everything that we know. So we're done with the variable list now, and we just want to solve this equation. So I'm going to look at my delta x equals v, v of x times t. And we don't know v of x, and we don't know t, so we're unable to use that equation. So we'll jump over to the delta y equation. We know delta y, we know g we can solve for t. So let's do that. So 122.625 is uh, meters is equal to 9.81 meters per second squared times, well, let me just move a little bit over, times time squared, all of which is over 2. Now, we want to get this t by itself. We want to get this t over here by itself. To do that, we have to get rid of both this number and this number. But we want to get rid of this 2 first because both numbers are divided by 2, and that makes it a little bit of a pain in the butt later. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. It will cancel over here. But to keep it even, I have to multiply this side by 2. And I end up with 140, or uh, sorry, 2. 45.25 meters is equal to 9.81 meters per second squared times time squared. Now I want to get rid of this 9.8, so I'm going to divide both sides by 9.81 meters per second squared. Um, 9.81 meters per second squared cancels over here. Over here, this meters cancels with this meters, and we're left with seconds squared as our unit, which is, we want seconds, we're looking for time, so we want some kind of second, so we're still on the right track. 245.25 divided by 9.8 turns out to be 25 seconds squared is equal to time squared. We want to get rid of this square here. So I'm going to square root both sides. 25 square rooted is 5 seconds. Seconds. This square cancels here. 5 seconds is equal to my time. Excellent. That, that's easy. I'm glad that I set it up that way. 5 seconds goes up here. Now we can use this 5 seconds in our V of X equation. Right? We are given our delta X. We don't know v of x, but we do now know time. So I'm going to set up that equation just down below, over here, where 55 
meters is equal to my v sub x times 5 seconds. I need to get this v sub x by itself, so I'm going to divide the whole thing by 5 seconds so that it cancels over here. This divided by 5 seconds. These units can't cancel, so we're ending up with actually meters per second over here. 55 divided by 5 is 11. There we go. There's my answer. I'm going to zoom out so that everybody can see kind of the whole process. Um, hopefully this clears things up for you. If you still need help, try watching video number 11 where I do a very similar problem. Um, or send me an email. Hopefully we can clear this all up by Friday. Good luck.